Early last year, LinkedIn made one of the biggest changes that had one of, I guess, one of the most drastic effects on the platform. And that was where it throttled back its daily invite limit from about 100 per day to about 100 per week. Now this sent a ton of uh, digital marketers, B2B marketers, into a bit of a worried frenzy, wondering how they're gonna get that volume up. But today I want to talk about what you can do about this 100 invite limit and why this is actually a really good thing for the platform. Hey, how's it going? Ryan Kazel here from b2bleads.com. And today I want to talk to you all about the 100 invite limit on LinkedIn. Now, if you know about this, chances are you've probably um, done some work with lead gen on LinkedIn. You started to use the original invite limit and then you ran into this issue where you've been throttled back to 20 a day. Now, um, for those of you who've always practiced more of a spray and pray volume um, centric approach where you just need to message hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, this was quite devastating because it really puts quite a hole in you know the volume that you can get out. But the reason I've seen this as such a positive as it's is that it's uh, improved the engagement that I've seen on LinkedIn as people are being hit from far less angles, like it's drastically reduced the number of messages that people are getting. So, so long as you're very selective with who you reach out to, the engagement has been drastically improved. So from um, an overall standpoint, it's been really good, but how do you like without changing too much or how do you take advantage of this? How do you go from sending 70 a day to less per day and still get the same amount of leads coming in. Now, I believe it is actually around 150. I mean, the LinkedIn platform is constantly changing, constantly evolving, but it still sits around the 150, 100, 150 to 200 invites per week, which is a ton. Like if you're targeting the right people and you have a valuable service and a great message to market, there's like, you, you generate more leads than you could ever handle. But what I want to talk to you today is about how you can take advantage of that. So the whiteboard and talk a little bit about what can be done. So we wanna get more leads. So there's really, whenever we're talking about getting more leads for our company, there's really only two things that we need to focus on. And that is volume and conversion. Volume as in, or, or traffic, so the amount of people that we can reach out to and put that message in front of people, and then um, conversion, how many of those people can we convert? So what's happened is LinkedIn has throttled back um, the volume of messages that you can send on LinkedIn. So for those of you who are not familiar with um, organic outre um, outreach, outbound lead generation on LinkedIn, what we're doing is we're looking for our ideal clients on the platform, we're reaching out, connecting with those people and aiming to get a conversation started and get those people onto phone calls. A little bit like cold calling, old school cold calling, but we're doing it through LinkedIn, super effective. And we get people when they eventually get onto a call, it's an agreed upon call and people are far more likely to convert it's an agreed upon time and there's already a degree of engagement and interest. So there's only really three key things that we can do within these two categories to increase our leads after we've throttled back um, the volume via invites. So first one, and it's probably the obvious one, which a lot of people really need to take a bit of a rain check on is how do we increase our conversions? Uh, and we can do this by improving our audience or target market. So spending far more time on being very selective around the, the people that we wanna target. And one of the greatest things to do without even changing necessarily who you wanna target is looking at who is likely to engage. And if you use something like Sales Navigator on LinkedIn, you can target people who we know are actually engaged on the platform which means that they are more likely to engage with us. So engaged as in posting or changing their um, job titles and things like that. People who are actually on the platform because we know that they use it. So if we can be more specific around our audience, around people who we know are engaged, then we can drastically improve our connection rate that way and being more selective. Now, so there's obviously targeting and then we also have our messaging. What can we say? in a way that's more effective, that's gonna get more people to convert once we improve our um, actual targeting. Now, I won't go too much into messaging because I'll talk for another three hours, but there is a ton of great stuff on this channel around how to 
write um, better messaging on LinkedIn, how to get people to convert, keep them short, sharp, to the point, single points of call to action. I'm already going down a rabbit hole. Look on the channel, there's tons of great material or reach out if you have any questions. But we want to improve our messaging so we get more people to convert, which comes down to timing, which comes down to what we say and how much we say. Now, the volume game is, I guess, where most people who are watching this video are probably interested because there's likely already uh, a strategy or an approach in place. We know who we want to reach out to. We have a bit of messaging. We know that if we reach a certain amount of people, we're going to get a certain amount of conversions. So there's two, I guess, simple ways that you can get your volume back up. And the first one is using in-mails. Now, by default, like if you're using Sales Navigator and for anyone who's serious about generating leads on LinkedIn, you should be using Sales Navigator. It just gives you far more better, I guess, functionality around searching and um, connecting with people. But in-mails by default, you get, I think, 15 to 20 a month and they bank up to about 60 and then that's where they stop but you get keep getting extra 15 a month until it hits 60 and these you can use to message people who haven't connected with you but the cool thing is is that we can use emails on top of connection messages now 15 a month doesn't seem like a lot and for the most part they're not as effective as a connection campaign we're actually connecting we have a chance to send a couple of messages to people and actually get more touch points in and say more things people tend to ignore emails more but the powerful thing about emails is if you take the right approach and you target people with open profiles so a lot of people um, will have premium subscriptions on LinkedIn. And if you have a premium subscription, a lot of the time LinkedIn by default sets your profile to open. And an open profile means that you can send emails for free. Now this means you can actually send, if you know how to find these people, you can actually send an additional 20 emails, 20, 25 emails, I think about 400 in total over the month per day. So you can get a lot of extra volume and get a lot of extra touch points in, which is gonna get you obviously a lot more leads, which is a really powerful strategy. Like I said, the conversion rate is lower, but we could get more volume and we can also come back around to these people later and hit them with another touch points via our regular campaign, which is connecting and starting a conversation. Now. The other way, which is really effective, and this is obviously a lot easier if you have a sales team, is adding more accounts. So, super simple. You've developed a process, a messaging sequence, an audience that you know works and generates leads on LinkedIn. If it works, do more of it. Double down on what you know works. So if you've got a sales team or other um, employees at the company, encourage them to follow the same process. Once it's all set up and running, if you're doing it right, it should only be 15 to 30 minutes of their time per day. And it's gonna add a lot more value to the company, perhaps incentivize them, show them how to do it. Whatever it is, it's super simple because you have a process that's repeatable and you know how to actually regenerate leads. Just do more of it add in more accounts, have faith in the system that you know works with what you've done before and just keep doubling down on that. So when it comes to the 100 invite limit, there are ways around it. In fact, I think some of the automation software actually can just completely bypass the limit. So you can send, you know, I think 50 a day pretty comfortably. Um, just have a bit of a look at the different ones out there. But essentially what you wanna do, not even considering that, you need to increase your conversion rate and focus more on picking the very select likely to engage people, get your messaging improved. Even if you don't do that, there are ways to increase your volume once again by either using in-mails or adding in more accounts. So I hope that's been helpful. I hope you've got some more ideas on how to generate more leads in 2022. I'm Ryan Gaswell from b2bleads.com. As always, have a great day. Cheers.